Dear civil engineers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. In a previous some lecture, I have just shown you that how to create grid system and uh, level of that grid, I mean floor level. Okay, so it's take huge time to create that manually by using that option like uh, here in grid system or level like that. So, they have another extension like, sorry, here extension, skip. Uh, control Z. I have just. You see, they have an extension, and they have some element. By using that ex extension, you know that in our previous lecture, I have shown you that how we create different types of parameter, and also we can create grid very easily. Grid and our level very easily within a minute. Okay, so I will show you about that. So let's start. Now, first of all, I'll click here for new or when you will create your model new, then you will see here some templates. So I'll use a structural template and this project. Okay, then okay. It will give us a fresh template. So when it's done, now I'll go here extension and in default, you will do not see any extension here. Then what you have to do, you have to download that extension from Autodex website. And you have to install that extension for your site. And if you are using Autodex Reverb 2016, as I'm using here 2016, then you can download the extension I have provided in description or in our playlist. You will get a video like how to download extension for Reverb 2016. And if you want to download uh, the version available in internet, I mean in website of Autodex their extension are also available in website i will make a video on it that how you will download and install that so when you here you just come here model then generate a grid generator i'll click here now first of all you can uh, create level so here level on level two i will give the level on names base okay and level two name gf so what will be the distance from base to gf that will be suppose six feet six feet now i'll just give you one if that means first floor okay so that will be 10 similarly 2f that will be also 10 i'm considering that then 3 3f also 10 then 4f also 10 now uh, suppose roof roof then also 10 feet okay so i have provided our uh, level and see here everything i have provided okay i mean our we have provided our level for i mean different types of floor now we'll go for grid here you can see that there are two options okay cartesian and cylindrical so we'll use cartesian and no need to do anything here okay now what we'll do i'll just give here first of all you have to change the numbering so i'll change that numbering uh, in horizontal direction i'll consider one and in your uh, vertical direction i'll consider avc like that so here uh, you have to provide a spacing suppose our spacing are first of all 10 feet and number of spacing one then i'll provide suppose sorry 12 feet and also i'll provide number one now i need 13 then number one i need uh, 15 feet sorry here number one number one and at 15 feet also number one and measure this space spacing from one grid to another grid okay so here i need again suppose 10 here one i need uh, 12 here one in this way how much you need you can do that okay now for vertical again i'll just come here and i'll give suppose 15 then one 12 then one then 15 then 1 then 10 consider 1 like that you have to give it that all value so when everything is okay okay when and here the bubble what is the uh, bubble what will be the bubble so you can use the bubble size here 
as per your requirement okay when everything is okay and they have some advanced option i will not use that option okay so when everything is okay i mean when your spacing is okay simply and, and they have another option elements now here you can also create all of your beams columns or anything here very easily okay suppose if you use that option if you use that option so for which floor level you want to draw your beam or anything you can do that from here you have to select the beam which types of beam you want to give here you have to select here like that you see how easily you can do that again if you want to sorry this is for column and if you want to generate beam you can do that similarly here okay and if you want to generate wall then you can do here okay and again if you need to generate footing then you can use that footing at which level you want to draw footing here and here which types of footing and size of your footing clear i will not use that any option okay because i already have shown you about that how i will draw manually because we have to do it manually for perfect words so here okay and here our level system is okay then after simply i'll click okay and wait for some time just see how easily we have created that okay now by selecting them we can use filter and i'll not use that okay i'll just cancel that i'll simply select and i'll simply move that camera here okay i'll move that camera here it's a concept and i'll move that camera here and here and also i'll move that camera here right and after that you, you can see that you're all grid are okay so for every floor for every floor your grid are okay here your grid are okay for every floor now uh, they have one issue like i'll just come here f1 and see your uh, that bubble are very near to the grid line so what will do i'll simply select one of it then i'll just by clicking here i'll move how much i require so here i'll move every bowl will move like that so for that one also i'll move it in that direction okay and here for that side i'll also move it in it move it in that direction and also in that direction right so in this way you are able so for second floor just see for every floor it's have done okay so in this way you are able to draw your grid system very quickly right you, you can do that very quickly within a minute so thank you thank you very much and if you think that that's helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first and if you like my video and if you want to support me or so if you want to support our channel then you can join as a member thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video